Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about gene edited mustard. Okay, remember carefully, we are not discussing about the gene genetically modified crop. We are discussing about the genetically edited mustard, GE, not the GM. Let's see what we are going to discuss in this video. First, let us see the syllabus mapping. This topic is related to Gender Studies Paper 3, which is Science and Technology particularly biotechnology and achievements in biotechnology and how biotechnology will help in human's life. So this is the syllabus mapping and let us see the video components. Now let's see. First we are going to discuss about why it is in news. It is in news because Indian scientists they successfully done the gen genetical edition of the mustard. Because of this genetical edi edit editing what kind of benefits we are going to see. We I will explain. Next, let me explain about gene edited mustard, GE mustard, what it is, which gene we are editing, then what is the significance of this, then mustard cultivation in India, in which states mustard is growing a lot, what is the technique we used in gene editing, what kind of protein we used as a scissor of cutting the gene, that we will discuss, CRISPR Cas9 technology means what, and we will do the comparison between the gene editing as well as the genetically modified crops. And finally, in the end of the video, we are going to discuss about the regulatory bodies. In the regulatory bodies, we are going to discuss about what regulatory bodies will regulate in India and in which areas they are going to regulate. All these details we are going to discuss. So this is about the gene edited mustard video components. Let us see why it is in news. You know students, we are discussing this gene edited mustard, GE mustard. It is done by the, you know, like Delhi University. Delhi Uni University researchers, they have done this kind of gene edited, they developed this gene edited mustard. It is very good for the commercialization, not only for the oil production, even the whatever the leftover after the oil production, which will be used as a food for the livestock, that is animals, that is going to be the very, you know, like pleasant and animals also will eat pretty much good this about the GE mustard, me this meal. Let us see what are all these benefits. First, we will see the genetically modified crops you know like arguments positive as well as negative we are not discussing about the genetically modified one we are going to discuss about gene edited but even though let us see so let us draw some comparison between the i mean the pros and cons regarding the genetically modified crops genetically modified crops positive they can address the food security negative okay they may affect the human health and positive they produce high amount of the yield and income and the negative one they may contaminate the environment. Like this, there are some positivity as well as negativity regarding the genetically modified crops. Okay, But our area of interest is not the genetically modified one, gene edited. For gene edited, you do not require the permission from the, you know, like uh, genetically modified appraisal committee. For the, from that, this permission is not required. Let us see why it is in use. Indian scientists, they developed the first ever low pungent mustard. Okay, this mustard is going to have a less pungency, that means a less order and you know like uh, it is going to be the less intense, it is going to be less intense compared to the normal mustard. You might have known the students, some of the people who cooking, okay, who knows cooking, obviously you might have known that the usage of the mustard oil, mustard oil usage is quite high in the North India, especially in the mountainous region, okay. So in these regions, people generally use mustard, actually this mustard which mustard oil which come from the mustard seeds after you extract the oil whatever the leftover that cake that can be used as a animal fodder also but because of this pungency animals also are not eating that means obviously there is need that we have to reduce the pungency by reducing the pungency you can increase the you know like palpability that means the you know like how we can eat the usage for the edible purpose it can be increased as well as whatever the cake which comes from the mustard seed. The cake also can be easily eaten by the animals. That is what we are discussing. Now, I will I will ask you one question, students. Which article of the Indian constitution is encouraging the, you know, like modern methods in agriculture, such as, you know, like uh, advanced techniques in dairy, I mean, dairy and animal husbandry, agriculture. Which article is saying that government should increase the application of modern technique in agriculture as well as animal husbandry very very important let's see how many of you can answer and this gene edited mustard it is having the pest as well as the disease resistance normally here you have to remember students normal variety as well as the gene edited variety normal variety normal 
variety as well as the gene edited variety the difference you have to understand here normal variety lot of pungency lot of pungent very you know like strong smell strong odor and it is the pest resistant also pest resistant now gene edited one the pungency reduced the pungency reduced the interesting thing is whichever the nucleic acid is responsible for this pungency it is actually giving lot of disease resistance to the plant by reducing the nucleic acid scientists sometimes they suspected that whether the pest resistance will reduce or not but the pest resistance is not reduced it is still resistant towards the pests this is what you have to understand so this is the desirable character which is there this is undesirable undesirable character we eliminated through which technique gene editing technique that is the reason gene editing technique it plays very important role in creating the desirable characters in both plants and animals next we'll see so pungency which is responsible for this pungency the glucosinolates glucosinolates sulfur and nitrogen containing chemicals all these are responsible for the pungency glucosinolates this appears very frequently in this entire discussion glucosinolates glucosinolate now you have to understand students this glucosinolate which is producing which is producing in the other parts of the plant it is going into the seeds seeds and it is accumulating in the seeds by reducing this glucosinolate in the seeds what you can understand you can reduce the pungency pungency now in this experiment what we are targeting we are identified that we identified that which proteins are responsible for this transportation which proteins are responsible for transportation we identified and this protein is coated by around 12 genes 12 genes are responsible for this proteins out of these 12 genes we edited we edited 10 genes out of these 12 genes we edited 10 genes now this protein is not there so that the glucosinolates are not transporting into the seeds very very important at the same time the glucosinolates as usually it is getting transported into the stem of the plant it is also transporting into the leaves of the plant leaves of the plant so it is pest resistance normally pests they are eating the stem and leaves in the stem and leaves you are having the glucosinolate but you are not having the glucosinolate in the seeds because of this because of this you must understand students the in the seeds the pungency is reducing whereas the stem and leaves which are having the glucosinolate they are still having the pest resistance this is what you have to understand how you edited this one this one is edited by using the crispr cas9 this edition is done by the crispr crispr cas9 protein crispr cas9 protein this is the crux of this topic you can take the screenshot and you can quickly revise before the prelims i hope you understood let us go to the remaining material okay glucosinolate sulfur nitrogen this high glucosinolate this high glucosinolate is causing what causing the pungency in the mustard because of the pungency you know like the it is unable to be used that much and for the livestock also it cannot be used this rapeseed meal because of this high glucosinolates we are not using and this glucosinolates they are giving the you know like character character features such as the pest resistance mustard cultivation in india in india mustard crop is rabi very very important in india mustard is one of the highest cultivating oil seed you have to understand tell me students which revolution deals with the oil seeds we have the white revolution blue revolution grey revolution like that yeah which which revolution deals with the oil seeds okay tell me and because of this greater high high oil content around 38 percentage that means out of the 100 kg of the this mustard seeds 38 kg of oil you can get it that is a significantly high amount of the oil content in this seeds and of course the states such as rajasthan haryana madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh these are the states which are very popular for the mustard cultivation next the technique of gene editing the technique we use here is crispr cas9 gene editing technique previously upsc asked question on the crispr cas9 technique in the prelims 
okay in the crispr cas9 technique what is the full name of this the full name is crispr means clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats this is the full name of crispr in this crispr targeted gene will be identified and the gene will be cut by the scissors and the rest of the you know like dna will be allowed to repair so that undesirable character will be eliminated here for cutting which enzyme we are using we are using the cas9 which function as a molecular scissor for identifying what we are using for identification purpose we are using the rna molecules in this you can see this is a crispr cas9 this is a targeted dna and the crispr cas9 is attaching to the targeted dna it is cutting down and the undesirable gene will be eliminated and it will be allowed to be repaired so that the undesirable character will be eliminated from the planter animal that is nothing but known as genet genetically edited planter animal okay now in which variety we done this experiment we done this experiment in the mustard variety that is varuna variety varuna variety we done this experiment for this for this gene editing plants or animals we don't require any permission from the geac geac okay so genetically in genetically engineering okay genetically engineering so committee this gene modify for any genetical modification crops or animals this per this per committee permission is required they will appraisal this is a genetical engineering appraisal committee for the for this genetically edited crops geac permission is not required genetically modified one what is the difference between the genetical addition and genetical modification in genetical addition just we will remove some part of the dna whereas genetical modification not only we will remove but we insert set, uh, certain other uh, you know like dna such as you know like bt cotton bt brinjal even the bt even the mustard we have genetically must modified mustard is also there okay that uh, we you know like that was happened few months back we crossed the varuna uh, variety with the you know like helena i think so that european variety we crossed okay we are not talking about that genetically modification hope you understood the difference between the genetical modification and genetical editing importance of this this is not only reduce the smell it also improve the quality so that it can be used in the edible purpose and in the animal you know like meal also here normally genetically modified crops or animals who regulates geac geac stands for genetical engineering appraisal committee it works under the ministry of environment forest and climate change it responsible for evaluating the gmo crops then international level which protocol is regulating the gm crops or gm animal the animals the protocol is cartagena protocol on bio safety that means genetically modified organisms should not harm to the human being that protocol is all about that nagoya kuala lumpur supplementary protocol it establishes that the liabilities and rules regarding the damage caused by the genetically modified organisms or any living organisms which are produced through genetic modification that is covered by whatever the damage caused by them covered by nagoya kuala lumpur next codex codex elementaries commission it developed the food standards and it also developed the gmo guidelines and how the gmo plants are made plants or animals how they can be used for in a fair manner and finally wto agreements regarding this and genetically engineering appraisal committee in india it controls the research on genetical modification plants and animals not only that it also releases rules regarding the research whether they will be allowed in the research or not whether they will be allowed in the field trials or not all those things can be covered by the genetically engineering appraisal committee last video question consider the following statement about the mangalyaan regarding this it is also known as mars orbiter mission right india is the second country to enter into mars after usa wrong okay third one it made india the only country to be successful in making in the first attempt right okay first statement third statement right today's question okay we'll see today's question with reference to the genetically modified uh, genetically modified or mustard in india consider the following Ra read this three statements and tell me the right answer main question it is argued that genetically modified crops can solve many challenges discuss in light gec approval of the environment release of the gm mustard genetically modified crops are solving lot of problems in this context explain what are the advantages we are going to have the because of the genetically modified mustard okay 
Now, as we reach to the end of this video, let's see what we discussed in this video. In this video, we discussed about the difference between the genetic modification and genetic heritage, plants and animals, and why, what is the advantage of genetically heritage mustard, and what are the advant advantages of reducing the pungency, and how, how we done that by using the CRISPR Cas9 technology. We discussed about the CRISPR Cas9 technology, and even we discussed about some positives and negatives regarding the genetically modified plants and organisms. Along that, we also ex discussed about some of the international protocols regarding the genetically modified plants and animals. This is the detailed analysis regarding the gene-irritated mustard.